Good morning, kindergarten, and welcome back to another week of remote learning on our channel. Let's get started on today's date. So, yesterday was Sunday. Today is what day? If you said Monday, you are correct. Today is Monday. And, oh, Miss Maynard already wrote today's day. So yesterday was the 19th. What number is this? The 20th. And we are still in the year 2020. And we are in the month of A-P-R-I-L. April. We are still in the month of April. So how would I write the month April? Do you guys remember? If you said a four, you are correct. The date that I'm putting is the 20th. And the year I'm putting is 2020. So for today, Monday, April 20th, 2020, we are going to be working on digraphs again. Digraphs again. And if you remember, digraphs are the two letters that stick together and we tap out one time. We have five different digraphs. We have TH, SH, CH, CK, and WH. So we're going to go over those right after we do our standard card sounds and our large card sounds. So let's start with our standard cards first. Are you guys ready? Okay. Let me put it on this side so you guys can see. Good. Mm-hmm. That's right. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. That's right. Good. Now, let's go over our standard card sounds really quickly. So we have A, Apple, A. Ah.
-hmm. And lastly, good. Now, let's go over our digraphs again really quickly. So let me just bring this up. And the way we're going to do it is Miss Maynard is going to say it first, and then you guys are going to echo after, okay? Because we're still learning, Miss Maynard is going to say it first, and you guys are going to echo after. Are you ready? All right. So we have W H whistle wh. You guys? Right, next we have T H thumb th. Next we have C H chin ch. Good. Next we have S H ship very good and lastly we have CK sock K. all right now remember when we are working with digraphs and we're creating words these two letters stick together so that means they're only tapped out one time this is going to be very helpful while we work on writing a few words with digraphs in them so today we are going to be writing a few words with digraphs so here i have my whiteboard you guys can use your foundations paper or any kind of um writing paper that you have at home. I also have with me my marker and I have my blue eraser. So the first word that we're going to start off with is the word shop. Shop. And I'm going to tap that out first for you guys and then we're going to practice writing them, okay? So we have sh, a, p, shop. The digraph that uses the sh sound is s, h, sh. So we're going to put s, h, sh. Next we have sh, then ah, ah, o says ah, so we have ah, and then p, 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 that's right, so we're going to put our p, And I'm going to make sure you guys can see. I put my P all the way down to the worm line. You see? I put my P all the way down to the worm line. So remember, I said a good way for identifying your digraph is to what? Who remembers? We underline it. So you underline your digraph, and that's going to remind you that this, these two letters are stuck together. And we tap them out how many times? One time. So we have sh, a, p, shop. Let's tap that out really quickly. Hi. All right, hands. Oh, let me move this out the way. Hands. Sh, a, p, shop. Very good. Let's move on to our second 
word. So Miss Maynard is going to erase, 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 erase. And our second word is going to be sh, e, p, sh, e, p. What is the digraph that we hear in sh, e, p? S, H, sh. So again, we're going to start S, H, for sh. E, E, I, E, P, 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 P. So we have sh, underline that digraph. We have sh, E, P, ship. Sh, E, P, ship. Let's tap that out together. Ready? Oops. Ready? Show me your hands. Sh, e, p, ship. Good. Let's move on to our next word. And our next word is chin. Ch, e, n, chin. So the digraph that we use for chin is C H ch, C H ch. So we're going to start by writing our C and our H. E, E, I, E, and N, N, N. So again, we underline our digraph C, H, Ch, E, N, Ch, E, N, Chin. Let's tap that out together. Now what Miss Maynard did is she wrote it up on the board so you guys can see it here. That way you are, it's a little bit easier to tap out because you can see it. So first we're going to tap out ch, then e, n, chin, and, and just follow along with what you see up on the board. So we have ch. E, mm, chin. Good. Let's get into our next word. So we're going to erase this. And we are going to do cha. Ch. A. Uh, p. Cha. Again. Ch. A, uh, p, chap. So we're going to start off with our C, H, ch, diagram, diagraph again. So we have C, H, ch. Now we need A, uh, A, uh, O, A. Uh, And p, p, p. All the way down to the worm line, my P. So I'm going to underline my digraph again. Ch, that's one tap. A, p, ch, a, p, chop. Let's take a look at what that looks like when we tap it out. Again, we have ch, a, p, chop. Hands, hands, ready? Ch, a, p, chop. Good. 
Our next word that we're going to be tapping out and writing out is going to be thud. Now listen carefully to this one. Th th thud. What digraph do we use for th th If you said th, you are correct. So we're going to start by writing our lowercase t and our h. So he, we have th, th, that's our digraph, th, and now we need a, d, thud, a, a, u, and d, d. 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 Underline our digraph. Th. So we have th, a, d, thud. Again, we have th, a, d, thud. Now, let's see what that looks like and tap it out. We have it right up here. A, D, thud. And A, D, thud. I'm going to do that one more time, okay? And a d thud. All right. And our last word is going to be the word thin. So we're doing the word thin, and thin starts with th. th. So we already have the digraph th here. But then we need e, n. So you guys can start off on the next line with your th, but Miss Maynard is going to leave hers here because she already has it. So start by writing your th on the next line, th th. And then I'm going to erase these two because I don't need these. Right? So we're doing th, e, n. Thin. So we have th already. Next we need e, e, i. And lastly, n. Mm. That's right, n, mm, n, n. Mm. So we have th, e, n, mm. thin. Let's tap that out. So again, Miss Maynard already has th, so I'm going to erase these two and I'm going to add e here and n here. Let's tap that out together. One second. Ready? Hands. Show me those hands. Th, e, n, thin. Let's do that one more time. Th, e, n, thin. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to put a few words in the description box below. And what I want you guys to do is practice at home underlining the digraph in each word. Again, Tell mommy, tell daddy, whoever you're with, I'm going to be putting words in the description box below. What I want you guys to do is write them out and underline each digraph you see in each word, okay? Tomorrow we will be working on psych and tricky words again, so be prepared for that. Review, practice, and I will see you guys tomorrow, okay?
Bye, kindergarten. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick shout out. I got a really nice video that I enjoyed watching um, from one of our friends and I'm going to show you guys really quickly. So here we have Ariana and Ariana is practicing her digraph. She's practicing her WH digraph. So let's take a look. So as you can see, Ariana has all her digraphs written on the side. So she has WH, TH, CH, SH, and CK. And on this day, she was practicing all her WH words. Awesome job, Ariana. I am very proud of you guys. Continue to work. Continue to practice. Continue to send out your videos so I can see, okay? Bye, guys.